Hey guys, guess what I did? I opened up another brokerage account with Acorns. Uh, I've been wanting to try Acorns for a little while and I finally decided to open it up and check it out and see how it's gonna do over the year. I opened it up, I think a week after the first. So, almost uh, directly on a year, well, almost directly on the first of the year, you say a couple days off, but I don't think that'll matter too much. Anyway, before we get into it, um, make sure you stay till the end of the video, cause toward the end, I'm gonna show you guys how you can win a free shirt like this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm Michael Romero. And if you're new here, I'm a small time investor, small time YouTuber, just trying to do some big things with both. I'm here to teach y'all and to learn from y'all from what y'all tell me in the comments, basically. Uh, so like I said, I opened up a brokerage with this, I opened up a, an account with this brokerage called Acorns. And it's kind of like, I don't know if you ever heard of Stash. It's almost like, it's, it's more like Stash than it is like M1 Finance. It's kind of like M1 Finance. It's not like Robinhood. The reason I say it's kind of like M1 Finance and more like Stash is because you add a certain amount of money to it every week and it, it rounds up your purchases from either your bank account or your credit card. Well, like a traditional brokerage, you can't uh, necessarily pick individual stocks or individual ETFs to um, invest into, but what you can do, sort of like with Stash and with M1 Finance, you can pick a certain degree of investing, kind of like moderate, conservative, aggressive, semi-aggressive, semi-conservative, all that. So the way that works is like this. If you pick a more aggressive approach, then you're more into stocks, less into bonds, and you have less cash. If you're more of a conservative, you're most likely more into bonds, little bit into stocks and cash. More moderate, you're like, you know, 30%, 30%, 30% uh, in each. So that's kind of how that works. As far as individual things, no, you cannot uh, invest in individual accounts. You just pretty much set it to moderate, aggressive, conservative, whatever. Um, pretty much that's it. And the whole ideology of acorns is this. The reason why they call it acorns is because, you know the big oak tree that starts outside? It started real, real small. And well, basically what they're saying is if you start real, real small today, in 10, 20, 30 years, you can have this huge account, huge oak tree, um, if you will. Basically, you see the metaphor they, they're trying to go with there. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into the phone and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit what I've been doing with this here account. First, let me turn on my screen recorder because I did a video a while back and I had to redo it because I forgot to turn the screen recorder on. Um, anyway, so so as you can see, good afternoon, Michael. Hey, Instagram blowing up. So as you can see, I literally just started. Um, $52.74. What I'm doing is, let's see, in my past, all right. Since I was up more than one cent, um, but since the whole thing with the coronavirus happened, uh, kind of shot everything down. So as you can see here, um, but so what I decided to do with this experiment is in a year, put a dollar a day. So guaranteed $365 plus roundups. So if you don't know what a roundup is, let's say if I make a purchase of a dollar and 30 cents, they'll round up to the next dollar. So they'll take the difference of $2 and $1.30, which is 70 cents, and they'll put it into this little section of my bank or my portfolio. And when it reaches $5, that's when they'll actually send it to the uh, brokerage and put it in the investment account. As you can see here, I have a pending uh, trade or pending uh, fund transfer into here of $7. So a dollar a day, $7 a week. I just want to see how well it's going to work. Um, present, as you can see here, let's see potential. This is pretty neat. So if I stay on the path that I am today, when I turn 67, I will have $115,697. 
which is pretty sweet. I mean, it's not that bad, right? A dollar a day um, for the next 40 years. Actually, it'd be 40 years exact because I'm 27. I'll be 28 this year, by the way, November 19th. Anyway, um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool, right? Uh, and this is just like, this is the lowest form. Well, I say the lowest, the least hands-on form of investing. Um, let's see if I change my potential. Let's say I want to turn it to $5 a day. As you can see here, by the time I turn 67, if I would have kept doing a dollar a day, it'd be $115,000. Uh, $115,697. $115,697. That was hard to get out. Sorry about that, guys. $35 a week, which would be $5 a day, $347,595. That is, a, that's $231,898 above um, what I would have been doing. So, uh, I am doing $5 a day with my uh, M1 Finance account and I'm doing $50 a week with my Robinhood portfolio. But, this is actually pretty cool. They have a later account, which is a retirement account, but you actually have to pay for the retirement account. Um, it's not expensive, but I'd much rather do a free one like M1 Finance has. If you want to sign up for M1 Finance, go ahead and click the link in the description. I also have a link to uh, Acorns. You get $5 and I get $5 once you sign up and fund your account with any amount of money, I believe. Uh, so that'll be in the description also. Also, um, Robin Hood will be in the description. Free stock if you sign up. I get a free stock, you get a free stock. It's absolutely free. You don't have to make any commitment with Robin Hood. So anyway, back to the video. Uh, this is a, it's a it's pretty cool. Like I don't mind it so far. Um, I don't think it's gonna do as well as my other accounts because uh, I just, it's, it's kind of built to mini, mini, blah, 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 to minimize your risks. As, as that's as kind of how I see it. Um, they have a few cool features. Like check this out. So my performance details. So this is what I'm actually in. International large company stocks. I have ten dollars and fifty three cents in it. Large company stocks twenty one dollars and thirteen cents. Small company stocks uh, ten dollars and fifty one cents. Emergence, emerging stock market stocks, five dollars and nineteen cents, and real estate stocks or REITs, five dollars and thirty-eight cents. And this is with the aggressive portfolio. Um, I'm literally up one penny, which is not good. But hey, I'd rather be up a penny than down a dollar. So, um, as you can see, the roundup feature. Every time it hits five dollars total, that's when it sends the uh, roundups to your brokerage from your account and just like most of the other brokerages and everything else they got going on now uh they have their own debit card with benefits i haven't looked into it yet but i'm sure it's just like every every other one right you get it it has a higher uh, apy or, or interest for the year um whatever you want to call it which is it's okay, right? It's pretty cool. I, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to keep up with the times. Um, this is a really cool feature though. It's called uh, earn found money. This is basically kind of like a bounty for extra points, extra money, extra percent that's put into your account every week or every month. So basically if I spend money at Chevron, doesn't matter any amount, um, they'll automatically they'll automatically reinvest um, 25 cents to me. So it'll be whatever I would usually get from a roundup plus another 25 cents. Same here with uh, Dell, Dell Small Business. If I go buy a Dell computer, they'll reinvest 2% back into my portfolio as well as whatever is drawn from my card. So that's pretty cool. And they have a quite a large selection of bounties here. Casper, Chevron, Caviar, uh, a lot of things that I don't even know what it is. Columbia Sportswear, Xfinity. Uh, hey, Credit Karma, okay. Credit Karma Tax, 
okay, $2 back. I use Credit Karma. I, I use Credit Karma to uh, help me with my credit, obviously, but I didn't know they had a tax program. I might look into that to do my taxes this year. But uh, as you can see, it's very simple. It's for like, it's for the investor that doesn't want to be um, in it per se, that wants to do as little work as possible, which is fine. Not everyone needs to be a hands-on investor. Not everyone wants to be a hands-on investor. Um, myself personally, I like to mix it up. I like to have some on the side and I like to be in at the same time. I like to have my hands in the pot and sometimes I don't. So that is why I'm deciding to try a few different things at one time. Plus, you know, hey, you're right. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you keep and how, how you push your money around. Um, so basically, it's been what? Three weeks since or two weeks since I started this Acorns and I already have 50 bucks in here. It's pretty cool so far, but let me show y'all. So as you can see, conservative bonds, bonds. It's actually all bonds in here. Short term bonds. Everything's 20 percent. Government bonds, government bonds all that let's go to moderately conservative bonds stocks 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 so you actually have more in bonds in this one as well but it's okay that's why it's built like this moderate government bonds corporate bonds stocks 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 moderately aggressive government bonds corporate bonds and the rest of stocks and then boom we have what i'm in which is aggressive uh, who knows, maybe later I might change it to something else if we see a little bit of tanking in the stock market this year. I may not. It's a dollar a day plus whatever change I spend from my debit card. So shouldn't hurt to keep it in aggressive. But uh, so far, I don't mind it. Um, it's pretty cool. I think it's a cool concept. Uh, maybe they need to switch up the portfolios a little bit more but i'm excited to see uh in you know six months from now how the portfolio is doing uh not too excited on the one percent up but like i said i'd rather be one penny up than a dollar down um but let me know in the comments below if you guys uh use acorns at all or if you use stash i say i used to use stash but i i learned a long time ago that uh that was not for me and this technically isn't my forte either but I'm doing this as an experiment because I know some of you guys um, don't want to be as much as of a hands-on investor. So I'm sacrificing my money and time to uh, give you the best of both worlds, I guess, for this little science experiment. But um, all right, guys, if you since you since you made it this far, that either means you really like this video, you really like me, or you're just here to figure out how to win that sweet Monday money T-shirt. Um, so basically, is this. All you have to do is smash that like button, hit that red subscribe button, and leave a comment below um, telling me that you hit the like button, subscribed, and whatever else you wanna tell me down there. Um, that's all you gotta do. And in the next week or two, I will uh, announce a winner. I'll pick a winner, and you'll get a free shirt. I'll mail it to you. <laughs> but guys, listen, aside from that, uh, good luck. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for a chance to get a free shirt or just because you want to support a small time struggling starving youtuber uh because you know that that like button when you smash it it really helps out with the channel and the youtube algorithm and you know hey we're just trying to reach a thousand subs here so if you hit that red subscribe button turn it gray you might as well hit the little notification bell at the same time but guys look i'm gonna get out of here if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me all you got to do is click one of these videos and guys needless to say look that is it for me y'all have a great day